Hello everyone. Today's video is about the last piece you could be removing from your gun. I highly suggest not to touch it because it is a pain to remove and a bigger pain to install. But if you like a good challenge, you need to remove the loading chamber indicator, which we can see right here. So it's coming out right there. That's the one that the shell pushes to give you tactile and a view of your chamber being loaded. Anyhow, if you decide to remove it, I'm going to show you how to do it. So first, the back plate, firing pin, this threatening pin here. All right. Okay, let's go over the details. You have a piece of metal going through the gun. It's one piece. You have a spring here, and you have what we call an e-clip, something like this, that is holding everything together for not moving too far. The first thing will be to remove the e-clip. The e-clip will need to be pushed on one end, and by doing so, you might lose it as it will fly away. So you need another one to replace. And here is an assortment of e clip, but what you need is a small, small one, which is an M2. This uh, set here of e clip, which I probably will never use again, was about 10 bucks shipped, so no, not really a problem. But here is a bag of replacement e clip, 2 millimeter if needed. So I'm going to Remove it, wear your safety glasses, and again, as I said before, it is a pita. So, good luck on that one. Let's see if I can do that. It's a hit and miss. I'm looking for the bottom end of the, one of the two arms of the clip. There we go, and it's out. I still have it. All right. So an M2 E clip. I'm going to keep this one aside. So the loaded chamber indicator piece of metal is holding down by that pin here. Once you remove that pin all the way, it will release that loading chamber indicator. It will also release that roller here that I think help guide the firing pin. And that's it. So if you need just to remove the loaded cham chamber indicator, I will suggest you just push it a little bit through, which I'm going to do right now. Okay. So you can see now I can pull it out. And there is a small spring that will stay stuck in between here until I remove it. There you go, that's it. So we remove the loaded chamber indicator, three parts, the spring, this piece of metal and the e-clip. Now for the rebuild, you need to compress that little spring here and to put it in place right there before anything happens. If you happen to lose it, I know some of you are going to lose it. It's going to fly away. Your best friend is a pen. Not every pen are created equal, but this one just happened, and a few others, that the diameter of the spring is the same. So all you have to do is cut it to length. And replace it and with this spring you can even use it probably three times in case you keep on sending your spring to the moon all right so the best way to rebuild it will be to compress that spring here put it in place right here take the loading chamber indicator go through the spring through its hole great push back the pin everybody's happy but you have no way to compress that spring here to give you enough room 
to insert the E-clip. What I came up with is to tie up the spring to compress it and put it in. And I use fishing wire, and this is what, uh, eight pound test line, I guess. I don't know much about that. I, I don't fish too often, but I do have it. And what I am doing here is, well, I'm going to compress it with my favorite tool, which is Emostat. There's thousand and one uses of an Emostat. Back to the fishing line. Right through the spring. Make a knot. Well, double knot because you want it tight. All right. Let's triple it. Uh, we'll hit for that thing to get undone while I'm middle of working with things. And I'm going to cut it as close as I can. There we go. And I'm going to do another one on the other side. And it, it would probably move around, but you can realign them pretty easily. So that fishing wire will allow you to install everything with a compressed spring. Now, I can reinstall See, the spring is under tension and that will help me get sufficient room to install the eclip. But to hold everything, I'm going to push that pin now. There. Okay, I'm in. Everything is in. Let me show you where we are now. So we have the spring that is into position, but being compressed by the fishing wire. And right there, there is a slot there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where the Eclipse will sit. So now, very carefully, you're gonna insert the M2 Eclipse into the loading chamber indicator. some specialized plier for that and you need to push pressure if you don't hit the slot it will bend open the eclipse you have to hit the slot and push it down and that is tricky but not too difficult there we go all right well, it was easier than I thought. The last few times I'd done it were a bit more complicated. See, it's in, it's not going anywhere, and it's going to hold everything from going further. Now, to remove the uh, fishing wire, quite simple. You grab an end and you pull it. And here is a fishing wire. That's one, and I'm going to grab the other end.
and this is the other end. I verify everything. Everything is in place and my loading chamber indicator is working and that's where we are at. Again, my suggestion is not to mess with it. But if you really want to, I think that fishing wire trick might help you out. Well, as always, until next time, see you guys.